Welcome back with us, folks. Tonight, we are focusing on establishing a plan. And this is a follow-up on basically what we just said in the previous video and uh, we, when we played Spy on Friday and again, we played Netflix on Friday. And this one is going to show you. Again, we played um, Friday bottom. We were waiting for that bottom. And I'll show you a few things. I keep saying, keep lines in your charts uh this is basically the lines that i have in my chart uh my netflix chart i have a lot of them um when you look at the weekly chart you can't really see anything unless you uh take these lines away uh what i'll do i'll put the five minute chart on so you guys can see a little cleaner of what was what is happening so basically if you look at thursday thursday it came down to a um to a line of, uh, of interest. See this price level, right? Where it bounced on the line. It's a line you saw that I was already in my, my chart from way back. And if it was, if, if it hadn't been on, you guys could have put it on that low of Thursday and see what happens with this line eventually. So, Basically, what I was looking at is a bounce on that line. So I was ready for the bounce. See how, you know, the target, the um, Netflix is moving down very close. Here you have the bounce on the line. Here you have a higher low. So I was under the impression that this could be the higher low, very similar level than that. So this is where I entered something that was already in the money we alerted 367 fives um calls um for a bounce on the line why so far down because we're you know just very close to 370 we could have gone 370 um i was under the impression that 365 367 fives we were paying 380 you have to do the math right if it closes at 370 and you took the 367 fives you will have a remaining value of 250 um, very close to expiration right you're in the money you probably will get exercised so you don't want that but you have a remaining value of 250 when you get to a cloud to expiration i was under the impression that we could at least get to this level, which is very close to 372-ish, a little higher than that, almost 373. So at 373, when you are from 367.5, you're 250 plus three, that makes it $5.50, which is more than respectable for a play um, on Friday, um, Friday uh, entry day. Or same day expiration where's the risk if we drop below this line um, there's the risk right let's get out of here so you guys can understand a little more of what's happening um, in risk management on this one uh, because we did go under support you know I've sh showed you a few times about but where's your next line are we falling down for the, you know, crying like little girls, or are we going to find some support a little lower? And this is what we found. Basically, trust me on this one, this is how SPY uh, behaved. Basically, we found what we called, what we thought to be a bottom. And at 1045, this level, this is where SPY intraday SPY well, it was at the high of the day. So we remember how SPY looked. It went like this, high or low, went above the pre-market resistance, and then it started to pull back. It pulled back all the way um, until, I believe, this 1125 around this area, right? So this is what SPY did. So right here, you're at the high. Remember, I told you it looked bullish. So for something that looked bullish, uh, Netflix didn't look bullish at this point. 
if it had crossed above, right, if it had done this, well, we were on our way for a bullish move, but no, we re rejected and came back down. So when SPY went under the, all of these support lines, um, it was looking very bearish. However, although we crossed under our planned area, we have to look at where's the second support, right? Our first support was this. Do we have support any lower? Lower than this. Are we going down in the ABUS or are we finding support somewhere? Right? Let's look at this together. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and see if there is a level somewhere. Oh, yes. We do have something. I'm just going to do a drawing so you guys can all see it right on the left side of your screen. You see this wick where actually we found buyers on the wick and then it bounced. Basically this line where it says price level 43, um, the major part of the, um, uh, the market bounced on this line but we found buyers right here. So basically, um, what I'm telling you is, let's put our line right at this level. You can identify how low it is. So it's low as 366.76. So if we move to 366.76, we're very close to that. You know, close enough here. This is your line that you have, your second line of support, right? So let's do this together, showing you how you can decide whether or not you stay in or not. Now, this is quite interesting. It's a good example of we entered here a little higher, believing we were holding on that support line, the planned line that we had. Market decided at 1045 to spike, but it rejected. So as it came down, market was moving down and moving down all the way to 11.25, which was right here. So while the market is doing a $4 drop, it doesn't look too bearish to me on, on Netflix because from this loss of support to here, we only have a dollar and a half, right? It's about 3.68 and it's dropping to 3.66. 70 so it's you know less than a dollar and a half and we're you know just going to clean it up for you guys to see it so basically the yellow line that you see is the wick that was bought just a few days before where we found a lot of buyers and that becomes your second line of support it wasn't that far away if it had been six or seven dollars down um there's very little numbers to believe or you know it's, it's it becomes hazy as of where is it going to bounce as opposed to this we saw that it lost support and it quickly found it it was kind of hovering like i said this was the low of day on spy spy did this you know low day attempted to go higher and then it had a higher low and then went like that right remember that one um it did the same here. We found uh, just a tiny test under our yellow line here of support, yet it was still holding while SPY was moving to the upside. And let's move out, zoom out a little bit here so you guys can all see what happened. Obviously, the old resistance that we played here, right? This was the old support that we played becomes the new resistance it's the same line so this was support now becomes resistance we've played that many 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 times however spy was it just kept on moving and as soon as we crossed this line look what happened big big green line moving to the upside and off we were where to well we can decide to be as high as this and in, in my in my um I told you before, um, I was 
aiming at somewhere in this, at this level. Now, this is the level we were looking at. And basically, as soon as we started crossing this, it is sell time. See, there is a high there, pre-market high or pre-market does resistance so as soon as we start getting in that vicinity we are very close to the um, resistance that we want to sell we sold a little early however you know we were in a little early as well so the idea is to stay green so just to recap a little bit we decided at this level it was a little higher than my 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 target but looking at the price level from this area, we were very, very close to the same level. So that became the support. We rejected the, uh, the move to the upside as SPY was moving to the downside. Now, once we crossed that level of support, we have to look behind where's the next support level. And we saw that wick and that wick became extremely strong here we decided to go 367 fives looking for a move to the upside um, to 273 ish maybe even a little more um, we entered at 380 i understand it's almost 400 dollars for a contract however the idea is to be on a safer play and we sold um, for 660 once we reached um, the level that we just talked about. So, you know, basically this is a 74-ish percent move for something that um, we had planned to have some value if we, if we were to expire in this area at 370. So in this example, you see how we plan the play on the bounce, how it rejected the support. You could have exited here. However, if you look back, you can decide, hmm, I'm going to push my luck to the next support level. If the next support level had been in, the, let's say, 360, I would have said, you know, abort the whole thing and forget about it. Um, and, and this one, it was very close. And while the whole market was doing this, well, we only pull back a few candles to, uh, you know, about a dollar and a half. So it was really worth the wait. And eventually we moved to the upside. So balancing our chances on looking at where support is will, in the long run, make it a lot easier for you, for, uh, for you to take all the guesswork out of the play. So I hope you guys, hope you guys are learning something and uh, keep us posted with your comments. It's always great to hear from you. Have a great one, folks.